we're now having a go at driving from city Meshrek, which is over there, all the way around along the coast to Cap Sedat, which is up there. So it's only about 15K, but if you have a look at the road, or lack thereof, we're kind of just hugging the beach, trying to avoid glass, and going through some pretty deep sand over here. So, yeah, this isn't really suitable for any vehicles apart from motorbikes, tractors, and four by fours. But let's see how we do. Made it to Cap Sarat, which is my final stop for today. This is a beautiful spot. Check out the birds down there. Guess this is a river or some sort of inlet. And then we've got a huge sandy beach over there and a bunch of fishermen. There's a couple of nice places to stay just off the beach. Yeah, this is a great spot. Lots of areas to walk. Apparently you can go and visit the two islands over there. They're the Fratelli Islands. Uh, you can get dropped off further down that way for barbecues on the beach. And yeah, as much as much open sand as you want really. This is a great spot. Welcome to Cap Sarat. They got some traffic problems. We've now driven across to Plage Sidi Grib, which is like just over over there is where we were so we could actually have come across the sand I guess it's only two or three kilometers anyway this place looks a little bit abandoned but beautiful beach the signs promised a lot of restaurants but I don't know none of these look like they're open maybe they are during the summer I mean that'd be great over there like a restaurant right on a peninsula still beautiful private beach and you've got the view of the Fratelli Islands over there Going on with this tree. A very strange angle. Here we are on Plage de Luca. Seems to be quite popular with the fishermen. Take a look. I guess they're all out right now. Amazing sand dunes up there and then perfect beach. And there are the two Fratelli Islands that we saw uh, from Cap Serrat. And then coming across, we actually have Residence Luca, which I'm gonna go and check out now. Looks like it might be a good place to stay if you're looking to explore this area. So you step out your room, dodge the dog, and straight into the sea there. Apparently this is quite good for kite surfing. What a great spot. <laughs> 